very special people. So put your hands up nice and high as we bring in Kimberly Sparrows, Ron Choo Choo, and Fiona Chan. Oh, 
Yes. So family and friends, again, we're going to ask you to step to the edge of the dance floor. So Kimberly, before you met that handsome gentleman over there, there was and still is another very special gentleman in your life. Am I correct? I am. And he is known as Dad. Where is Dad. Dad, come on down to the dance floor and start dancing with your lovely daughter to an amazing song by Celine Dion. This is entitled Because You Love Me. Can I get a nice big round of applause?
And ladies and gentlemen, now we're going to ask Patrick to please describe mom and join Kimberly and dad on the dance floor. Let's give them a nice big round of applause. And ladies and gentlemen, again, we all know what to do out there. Put your hands up nice and high. Kimberly and Dad and Patrick and Mom. Again, let's give them a nice big round of applause. Together out there, nice big round of applause. Oh, you got the whole hand clapping and everything, pal. So we're going to ask you to stand on over here. Ladies and gentlemen, direct your attention up towards the sweetheart table as we start it like this. Let's bow our heads and take grace. Heavenly Father, our Lord God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this wonderful, beautiful day you have made. Thank you that you orchestrate uh, this wonderful love that you've given to Patrick and Kimberly. We ask you for your blessings upon this day. We give you thanks for all the families and friends upon this uh, gathering that we celebrate their union. May you bless them eternally. We ask that you bless this food about to eat and uh, the fellowship we have, that uh, all the conversation will be give you glory and honor. And uh, may you bless them and multiply the, their family and the little ones who come. Bless them in the future to come. We give you thanks today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yes, that's right. I think we can give Pastor Lee a nice big round of applause. Doing a fantastic job with our grace. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for being here to celebrate Kimberly and Patrick's special day. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Tiffany. I'm the matron of honor and the bride's older sister. So, my favorite memory of Kimberly goes back to when we were in elementary school. We used to throw these little quote-unquote parties that consisted of just Kimberly and me, chips, candy, and our latest favorite cartoon. And these parties tend to happen whenever there were extra snacks around the house. And it was a really big deal because we weren't allowed to eat too much junk food as kids. It was actually such a big deal that whenever there were birthday parties at school, Kimberly would never eat her chips or candy, but instead she'll quickly hide her stash and put it away in her book bag so she can come home and share it with me. So that's the type of sister and person Kimberly is. Whenever there's anything good, Big or small going on in her life, she always wants to share it with those around her. Kimberly, whew, I can't believe how quickly time has passed since our little party days. I'm so thankful that God has blessed me with a sister like you that I can go through life with. You know, you're sweet, you're kind, you make me laugh uncontrollably, and you give the best life advice. I'm forever grateful for your love and for your friendship. Patrick, <laughs> I remember when Kimberly introduced us seven years ago, the three of us were just sitting in awkward silence in my parents' living room, just staring at each other, <laughs> not knowing what to say. You know, as Kimberly's extremely protective older sister, I didn't know how I felt about Kimberly bringing a boy home. But Patrick, you quickly became an important staple in our family. You know, you bring out the best in Kimberly and you consistently challenge her to be better. Um, and I'm so excited to have such a smart and witty brother like you. But I think the person that's most excited is my husband, Dave, over there. <laughs> Your bromance is beyond comprehension, and I've never heard him speak so much of another man before. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to our weekly, extremely competitive game of Monopoly and to making many more family memories together. So if everyone would just raise their glass with me to congratulate the beautiful bride and handsome groom. Congratulations to Kimberly and Patrick forever. Cheers, cheers. Thank you, sir. I cried a little bit. Yes, that's right. Come on, put your hands up nice and high. Make some noise for Tiffany doing a fantastic job.
everyone for coming out to celebrate this wonderful day with Pat and Kim. Um, I'm sure they're honored that you can spend a special day with them. Couldn't have asked for a better day, awesome weather, and like I just said, an awesome couple whose relationship that we can all celebrate together. So can everyone just go, aww. So I'm Victor, I'm Pat's older brother, and I'm here to embarrass him just a little bit. Um, when I was growing up, I didn't often see Pat as a little brother. In fact, I often saw him as a twin, not only because people would mistake us for each other all the time, or even an older brother in some contexts. And that's because Pat has a lot of nice qualities that I really look up to. So for one, he has a really good hairdo, much better than mine. He drives a way cooler car than I do. And on top of that, he usually dresses better than I do as well. But in all seriousness, Pat has a lot of characteristics that I really, really admire. Uh, for one, he's really thoughtful, he's really resourceful. And to a very good extent, or in a good way, he's stubborn. So it's funny that Tiff used a food story to, to, to illustrate some points, because I'm doing the same thing. So obviously, they're a match made in heaven here. So when Pat gave his best man speech for my wedding, he used candy as an example to illustrate some points. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Also, when Pat gave this uh, speech, he was drunk, but I am not. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so when you think of candy, you think of things like gushers, gummy bears, lollipops, that kind of stuff. But you know what Pat's, one of Pat's favorite candies are? It's jujubes. Jujubes are barely sweet, they're really tough to chew on, and they get stuck in your teeth. The only good thing about them is that they get stuck in your teeth because then you have sugar for the rest of the day. So Pat loves jujube so much that he wants me jujube sushi, okay? That's creativity right there, resourcefulness. Pat's a really tough guy. When he sees something sweet and good, he's going to fight for it. Even if he has to work really hard, get creative, it doesn't matter. He's going to fight through it. He's a really tough guy. And that's what I admire a lot about him. And I know that he's going to do the same for their relationship. You know, whatever ups and downs they have, he's going to fight for the two of them and make sure that they get the best. And I really, really admire that. So, as Tiff also alluded to, Pat's really into cars. One time, my wife and I were coming back from the city. She went to a wedding expo, and she had a copy of The Knot. And we see Pat in the driveway. He's cleaning his hands. He just finished fixing his car. And we're like, hey, Pat, we got you a copy of The Knot. You want to give this to Kim so you can get some ideas for the wedding? And Pat's response was not what I expected. He said, oh, that's awesome. I was just reading this at Barnes & Noble. Now we can finish reading it and not have to buy it. And I was like, whoa, it's only like March of 2016, and he's already planning their wedding. How many guys here can say that they did that for their wife? Not many. Pat's just super thoughtful. You know, Dan's already illustrated some of the examples with our cars. Pat really goes the extra mile to serve each other, uh, to serve people he loves, and to serve Kim. The one last thing I want to say is that Pat continues to get me in trouble, even this day and age. When my idea of a fun weekend is doing laundry or just staying in, he sends out pictures of him and Kim doing something new, exciting, and cool. And then next thing I know, my wife is yelling in my ear, how come we didn't do something so cool and exciting? So keep it up, Pat. Make me look bad. And I wish the best for the two of you. Kim, Pat, you guys have a wonderful journey ahead of you. Um, I wish you guys the best. I know that you guys are going to be an amazing couple. You're going to have a lot of adventures. And I'm looking forward to the, all the exciting pictures that you're going to send our way. And keep it up. Cheers to Pat and Kim. And it's my job as the brother to embarrass them one last time. So can everybody join me and clink your glasses?
All that's right, guys. Don't be shy. Gather around. Gather around. Might bring that down just a little bit for me. So family and friends, you've been sitting down way too long. I need you to stand up out of your chairs. Come on over here by the cake. Don't be shy. We got a couple more wedding duties to take care of. So we got Kimberly. We got Patrick. They're getting those last minute instructions. It's going to go down a little something like this. So the first good luck slice. Out of that cake, together with says and we're going to do this on three. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Let's give them a nice big round of applause. Good job. Good job. All right, so I got my man over here. He's taking a nice big slice on that. We're about to feed each other for the first time as husband and wife and ladies. We know that ladies always go first. So what do you think? Is Kimberly going to be good, bad, naughty, or nice? What do you think? Good or bad? Good or bad? Or Patrick's going to go first. Oh, I see how it's going down. Kim has the opportunity for payback if need be. Let's get Pat a nice big round of applause. Good job, gentlemen Like. So ladies, what do you think? Kimberly, good or bad? Good or bad? Oh, oh. She was nice. Let's give her a big run of applause. Now guys, I did a nice big kiss over that cake. Squeeze on in. One, two, three. 